Hello, welcome back to a new video on Lauren Hardy and Charlie Chaplin collectibles. In this video I've got a few more new items that I want to go over. So starting off with this one here is my new Chaplin poster, original film poster from the 1992 Richard Attenborough film. And uh, there's a whole load of well-known stars in it, Dan Aykroyd, Geraldine Chaplin, Anthony Hopkins, but um, uh, but uh, the highlight is 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 Downey's performance, absolutely brilliant portrait of of, of Charlie Chaplin, and uh, also Geraldine Chaplin, who I think is is the fourth child of Charlie Chaplin uh, and Una O'Neill, and uh, she plays Chaplin's mother, Hannah Chaplin, and her performance is absolutely brilliant as well. But even if you're not a true Chaplin fan. Uh, it's still worth having a look at uh, at the film. It's, uh, uh, my own opinion is actually uh, very, very good. Um, but it's based on Chaplin's uh, My Autobiography. So, um, so yeah, so it's worth uh, having a look at. But again, you know, overall, if you're interested in the silent stars or the early um, uh, comedians of the day, then, yeah, Chaplin would be definitely... On the list to uh, check out, and then uh, and then just um, under under the uh, Chaplin poster, you've got this one, which is the uh, the one we all know about, which is the um, new Stan and Ollie poster. Really great cinema poster. I just love. They see in cinemas January the 11th with Steve Coogan and John C. Riley. Their performances were absolutely outstanding, and uh, it just shows the, the the love and respect they had for one another in their later years, as as what the film is based on. Um, but I'm not going to give anything away. But so if you've not seen it, it's definitely worth checking it out. So another great uh, poster to have uh, connected to the uh, Lauren Hardy collection. And then uh, just on from that, you have this flyer or leaflet, whatever you want to call it, um, is uh, another advertising piece on the new Stan and Ollie film. And on the back, you've got all the star ratings. And uh, just at the bottom, there you've got in Cinema January the 11th again. And then this opens up in, in the center. And you have all the different shots from the film, and a little description about the film itself. Um, so a really nice piece if you if you've got the cinema poster. It's, it's just nice to have as uh, an extra addition. And then you have this one here, uh, which are postcards. They are postcard sets to promote the film, the Stan and Ollie film. And then again on the other side, but they're actually um, done in the style of 1930s lobby cards um, or front of house stills as referred to in the UK. Uh, it just says on the back here to celebrate Stan and all of these limited edition postcards, the design traditional lobby cards from 1930s Hollywood that were used in cinema lobbies and promotional images. We hope you enjoy these mementos. So it's a really nice nice um, addition to have to go with the, uh, the film poster uh, and then I have this uh, this one here this is a this is a new book so I added to the uh, Lauren Hardy book collection um, I have several editions of this book uh, this one is is 1962 and I think you know, it first published in 1961 so this is um, Lauren Hardy's biographer, John McCabb. So um, this is a nice early edition of this book, and um, I just I just absolutely love it. The, the vintage look about it, as it's all torn, and it gives it more that authentic uh, original vintage look. And I also love the artwork on it. So it's a nice addition to the more older books on Lauren Hardy. And then uh, this piece here, this is quite interesting. This is a music sheet from the Rogue Song, which is the missing film that we all know about. Um, I have also the other uh, music sheet 
which I did in an earlier video on uh, on the Rogue song. So I have two music sheets from the film The Rogue Song. Uh, this one, uh, with the help, came from uh, another fellow uh, friend and collector. So uh, this is nice to get a hold of and add to this uh, or add to my edition. And um, this one is called When I'm Looking at You. So uh, this song was sung by Lawrence Tibbet in the film, who was the main lead. I do get a bit confused sometimes because like my other music sheet uh, to the Rogue song, as well as this one, it's got the main star's name and everything else, all the other information, but it doesn't have anything with Stan and Ollie. Um, the only reason being that I think I might be wrong is because that they weren't the main leads in the film. It was more of a supporting uh, cast, I think. So uh, they were given scenes throughout the film in an attempt to boost the potential of the box office appeal, I think. Um, the other thing that I got a bit confused was that when I, when I opened it up, it said um, copyright on the inside at the bottom. It's got 1929, which I know the film is 1930. But then when I looked it up, uh, production was in 1929 and uh, it was released around January of 1930. So uh, that will probably make sense why this has got 1929 in it. Um, but just a quick overall of the film. I'm not going to go into details about the film because you can read that up online or in the history books on Lauren Hardy or biographies on their films or lost films. So it's quite easy to uh, find um, all the information on, on certain films if you want to know more about them but uh, he plays a, a Russian bandit Lawrence Tibbet in the film and um, it, it, he did all pretty much all the songs for the film and then you had Lauren Hardy as more of a supporting supporting role um, th there are scenes that have been discovered with them in I do have one uh, on DVD uh, there's a small um clip with them in where there's a storm and uh, a tent uh, blows away with Stan and Ollie revealed under the tent uh, where they're sleeping so they run into a or they run to hide into a cave um, not knowing before there was a, a bear that had gone in there beforehand it was actually quite a funny scene and um, so they run in there to take shelter and because uh, they can't see anything at all uh, Ollie, he's, he says to Stan, are you wearing a fur coat? And uh, I think just after he says that, there's a, a bear growls and then they run out of the cave and then it just fades out and sadly that's it. That's all the um, footage that we have on that. Um, and then there's a few other bits and pieces of footage like the, uh, the, the trailer and other sections of the film, I think, that have been discovered but not the whole film itself, which is um, a great shame. But uh, let's hope, as Laura Law and Hardy fans, eventually one day we'll, we'll get to uh, uh, find that film and uh, maybe get to see it, maybe one day. But um, it's nice to have original material from the lost film or paper material uh, from the uh, um, lost Law and Hardy film, The Rogue Song. So there it is. So another great item, vintage original item on uh, Stan and Roy's lost feature which was also shot in Technicolor uh, and uh, I think it, I think it was their first, their first, uh, well for MGM anyway, first Technicolor film to be shot and then um, just, uh, just one more little item which is this box I have, a uh, really nice piece, it's actually a money box and you've got cork at the bottom where you take it out, take the money out and uh, you've got, uh, this is Larry Harmon Picture Corporation, so it's uh, part of the Larry Harmon cartoon range. It's got 1978 on that. So this came direct from America, so I was able to get a hold of this. And uh, it also winds up and plays music, which I'm not going to do that because I don't want to damage anything. But you've got a cartoon image there of Stan and Ollie. And then again, both of them together, Lauren Hardy. And then on this side, it just just says along the bottom here, uh, 1932, for their short film, The Music Box, Lauren Hardy received the 
one and only Academy Award. So uh, really nice piece uh, to add to the Lauren Hardy collection, the vintage collection. So there we go. Okay, so there it is. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, keep collecting. Thanks. Bye.